Hey, yo! So, for most of you and probably almost everyone in Genshin right now, we are about to go into 4.5, which is the next patch after this one. But the main thing I want to talk about in this video is definitely about Ito. This guy is coming up in phase 2 of 4.5, which is also with my boy Kazuha. And I really want to talk about where Ito stands at the moment, with other major considerations that comes along with him. If you guys need help with your account or maybe even this video, I will try to respond as fast as I can and that's the only thing I really do. So, to start off with Etho at- Etho. Etho. Who the hell is Etho? To start off with Etho at the moment, I'm only gonna talk about the big things with Etho, which I'm about to put up in small sections, and I'm definitely gonna try putting this word for word. His normal attacks actually do benefit him unlike other characters in the game, which whenever he starts normally attacking, he will try gaining himself a superlative super strength, which is a different style of charge attack that will make him do an obscene amount of damage, which also activates his ult. This will allow his charge attacks to expand in damage much further, and this also makes him get his superlative stacks much easier. Obviously, his skill does also partake in this, where whenever he summons a cow named Ushi on the floor, he will deal more than twice the amount of his charge attack damage, but this is obviously upon one use. This also does help him get more superlative stacks, which whenever Ito does damage with it or it gets hit, he will get a stack just for those. To add on with this skill particularly, this also can taunt other people, which also means that he can make them attack it rather than the actual character, and this is also a really good technique for defending. The actual buffs that you get from Ito's ult is definitely turning all of his attacks into geo damage. And this also increases his attack speed up to 30% with the add-on of resistance to interruption. I really think this is amazing, but another thing that also goes with this is also this talent right here, which will define what Ito is scaled off of, and that is 35% of his defense. You might think that Ito will do a bunch of damage just alone, but that's actually not the case. You see, this guy's team management is one of the most expensive investments in the game, a lot of people do skip him just for that reason, and I actually get him why. His best team in the game currently is Mono Geo, but Geo alone does suck whenever you have no reactions to put on the field. At that point, it's just pure damage. I mean, there's really no add-on to this, okay? But seriously, this does vary primarily around his constellations, which what makes his Mono Geo team come alive. This constellation is what he really uses for that team, as it literally bases off on how many Geo members you have on the team, and a very nice way to fix his energy problems. One Geo member on the team will make him decrease his alt CD by 1.5 seconds, and also restore 6 energy. This can obviously expand up to 4.5 seconds and 18 energy overall. That is actually just busted if you think about it for a little bit, but it does most certainly come at a price if you are trying to have them as good characters. What is very surprising about Ito is that his C6 is one of the most insane constellations in the game, which is the only C6 that I would go for if I preferred one, and to me just a very valuable C6. This will increase his crit damage up to 70% with his charge attacks, but he also has a 50% chance not to consume one of those superlative stacks, which makes him keep going with his absurd amount of damage. Now that I think about it, that is just really insane as Ito himself is a very interesting unit that revolves just around a few stacks, but this will make him a mega character. Moving forward with Ito, I want to primarily talk about his weapons because he is very free to play friendly, which is just absolutely nice about him. This weapon right here named White Blind is no different to the Battle Pass weapon which is his second best and maybe even his main weapon. The main stat on this gives him a very big defense percent bonus and this increases his attack and defense whenever you use a charge attack. Obviously, this only increases it by 6%, but it does stack up to 4 times. His other options, like I said again, are his battle pass and his main weapon, which you can either choose crit damage or crit rate. This really just depends which one you need more of, but they're obviously not free to play. Lastly, to move on to his artifacts, I do recommend that you run Husk, which is the thing I'm running right now. 
And it also says it right down here where Husk is also recommended. This does apply to Goru as well, which is his partner. And why am I missing a sense? Why is this on no bus? What the hell is ha- But seriously, the number one stats that you should look with this guy is definitely crit damage and crit rate. And then his second main priority that I will pay attention to is definitely his defense percent. You can make energy recharge as your third priority, but this is not needed if you have C2 and some big batteries. Another thing that I actually captured is that there are a lot of Ito mains out there that run attack sands rather than defense sands. This is not something that you should worry about a lot, but there is a noticeable impact between both of them. I'm going to be very honest with you guys right now, Ito is one of my favorite characters to play, but the investment it took to get this guy and maybe even just build him is so much of a waste and there are so many other opportunities with different characters that it might even make it better. To end this video off, I'm going to answer the primary question of this video and that is should you pull for him? The answer to that is sure because this guy is actually a very nice character overall but if you are willing to spend more time into him then there's nothing blocking your way for you to just get him. Wow. This has got to be the best view I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, or maybe even comment anything about this video if you guys need help with your account, or maybe this video especially. I will try to help you as fast as I can, and that's the only thing I really do. Cyrex out. Bye bye